When you go out into nature, why is it that you feel alone? Biologically speaking, you're less alone than you could ever be when you go out into nature. When out in nature, you are completely enveloped in the presence of life itself. You are everything but alone. With every step you take, you're stepping on the roots of the trees that surround you and all their saplings. You're stepping on bugs and insects and twigs and berries and fungi and all their mycelial filaments that create an entire fabric under the forest floor. You're stepping on soil, decomposed plant material, and all the microbes and bacteria that feed upon them to transform them into the very medium that their offspring root into and thrive off of. With every breath you take, you're inhaling the exhale of the tree giants all around you. When you listen, you hear the chirps of birds and the squeaks of chipmunks and the gusts of wind whirring through the trees. You hear the snaps of critters breaking twigs from afar and the groaning of the trees in the wind. When you look, your entire field of vision is encapsulated by life. Trees, birds, plants, stumps, fungi, insects, and all the like. You see the footprints of path journeys of animals around you and the hopping of a squirrel from one branch to the next. When you're out in nature, you surely are not alone. But nevertheless, when you go out into nature, you indeed feel alone. Why is that? It's because nature is not judging you. Nature is happening, blowing, growing, dying, shifting, moving, evolving, transforming, happening and it pays no attention to your entry. It lets you come, and it lets you leave, and there is not even the whisper of a change in its demeanor. When we go out into nature, we feel alone. It's because nature is not judging us, and also because we are not judging nature. We don't go out in na into nature and judge a tree for its stage of development, or judge the way a bird chirps, or judge the way a caterpillar crawls across a leaf. We don't judge the way a deer looks, or the way a flower looks, or the way a mushroom looks, or the way a log looks, or the way in which the trees respond to the wind. We don't judge nature, and nature doesn't judge us, so therefore we feel alone. We are at peace in nature because we don't separate ourselves from it and it doesn't separate itself from us. We are inherently one, and so feel alone. It's as though nobody is there, and in that, we feel alone. Not alone in the sense of loneliness, that is much different, but alone in the sense of solitude, union, interconnectedness between all things. We feel our part in the world when we're out in nature. We feel how we're no different than it, Nature is so simple. Nature lets you, and you let it. As human beings, we are more often than not surrounded by other human beings, and we've become so hypercritical and analytical of every way in which we and others operate. We judge the way someone looks, the way someone dresses, the way someone talks, the way someone gestures, the hobbies people have, the hobbies they don't have, the achievements they've made, the things they're interested in, the things they're not interested in, the sound of their voice, where they live, what they do for a living, how they spend their time, on and on and on. The judgments are unceasing, and this is exhausting. It's like getting mad at a tree for not being two feet taller, or for having a broken branch, or for being infected with a virus. It's like getting mad at a bird for chirping the way it does, or getting mad at the wind for not blowing in a different way. We sever our fundamental connection between ourselves and others, which is inherently life itself, no different than nature. We are nature, but we've forgotten that. We go around saying man-made and self-awareness and modern living. We go around conquering nature, destroying it to build upon it exhausting its resources to use its resources, fighting against it so that we have a comfortable battlefield to fight against each other. We do all this, not knowing that we've cut ourselves off from our own source, the source of natural abundance. Nature is our salvation, nature is our teacher, nature is our home, and nature is who we are. Let's work on remembering who we are. Namaste.